Today we're going to be making banana bread. So this recipe is one of our family favorites. We've been looking for one for a really long time, but most of the recipes that we convert actually end up pretty not tasty, pretty flavorless and dry or too wet. So this recipe that we found and converted actually tastes really good. And our friends, they tried it and they're not nutritarian and they actually really, really loved it. So now you want to mix your dry ingredients in this bowl. So we have the oat flour, the cinnamon, baking soda, and baking powder. And you just want to stir that up evenly. Now for the wet ingredients. You want to mix the chopped dates in with the bananas. So you want to mix it in really, really good with a spoon. And then you can add the flax egg in with that as well. And that just binds the bread together just like an egg. It works really, really well. So just mix that really good. Now that this is mixed, you can add it to the dry ingredients. And stir that evenly as well. Okay, now that your all ingredients are all thoroughly mixed together, you can add this to your pan. And being vegetarian, we don't eat oil, so you don't need to add any oil to this because the ingredients are pretty wet and they don't really stick. It's really great. So now that this is done, you want to add your sesame seeds on top. They just get nice and crunchy and make a nice crust on the top. So you want to bake this for about 35 to 45 minutes, depending on how wet your mixture is. And then we will be done. Okay. So here is our finished bread and it cooked really nicely for 30 minutes and you want to make sure that it gets a golden brown on the top and sometimes you'll get a few like little black pieces but it's right because it really needs to cook on the inside. So let's try a piece. There we go. Mm. It was really good. Thank you for watching.